tires smoke like blazing guns and the stench of burning rubber permeates the night air. Anticipation hangs thickly as the dragsters square up. As red fades to green, the nitrous oxide injected cars take off, reaching speeds of about 300 kilometers per hour. This is drag night. Dragsters modify their cars using the latest auto technology. Lowered suspensions, wide-barreled exhausts, turbochargers and low-profile tires can transform an ordinary car into a hurtling mass of metal. And it's not cheap either. Okay, on this particular bucky with the conversion and everything, it's working out to be roughly 100,000 rand. But what happens when the wheels come off? Last week, three young men were killed when their vehicle failed to negotiate this treacherous bend. News of the impact sent shockwaves through this tiny community, stunned into disbelieving silence. I think this drag race should be abandoned to save young children's lives. It should be definitely stopped. The Connaught Road Bridge has become a Bermuda Triangle. Behind me is the infamous GTI wall. Scores of drag races have crashed here at high speeds. Now, friends and relatives have inscribed their names on this wall, a lingering ode to the victims whose judgment day has come too soon. Twelve hours later, this car oversteered, slewed into a bridge and bounced back onto the road. The driver was taken to hospital in critical condition, and fears are mounting that he may be brain dead. Police have the grim task of picking up the pieces. You drive along the road and you think, what are you going to tell these people when you knock on the door? Who's going to open the door? Is the mom going to open the door? The dad's going to open the door? The little brother going to open the door? Unfortunately, the mother opened the door. She opened the door and I stood there for a while and I thought, what am I going to tell her? I, the first thing came to my mind, I thought, told her there was an accident. Your son is seriously injured. He's lying in hospital. The rate of accidents has led to calls for the sport to be controlled and regulated. There is a responsible aspect that you should, you should be aware of and that's not to do it on a Saturday night when the crowd is, is not controlled, you're, you're not in a controlled environment, you've got no rescue guys on standby. I certainly believe that it's uh, aggravated by the fact that there isn't a proper racetrack or race strip in this province where people who have high powered cars can, can go and do time trials and whatever they have to do. Not much has changed from the Roman chariot races of ancient days gone by. The stakes are simply higher. Drag racing is here to stay. But the drivers often do not go gentle into that good night. Clive Govender, SABC News, Durban.